Hi, welcome to The Buffer Zone. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Waterco Micron S602 media filter. This is deemed an eco filter because it's especially designed for energy efficient uh, equipment and also for less water use. I'll get into those details a little bit later. Uh, it comes with a 12 month warranty on the multi-port valve and a 10 year warranty on the tank. 12 months for the valve, uh, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's pretty standard for the pool industry to tell you the truth. And 10 year on the tank, it's also standard for the pool industry now. Some will come with five, some with 10, but these filters have been around for a long time. This, this particular mold for the fiberglass, for the Waterco fiberglass, and I don't recall ever seeing a problem with the, the tank. So 10 years, it's uh, probably just a token warranty really, because it's hard to ever put my finger on a time where I've noticed any problems with the tank of a Waterco filter. Okay, let's get into some pros. Um, as I mentioned before, it's eco, and, and what they mean by that is that it's all 50 mil internal fitting. So the multiport valve is larger than a standard 600 uh, filter, uh, and, it, and that's because it's all got 50 mil ports, and also it's got 50 mil internals for the filter itself. So I'll show you a little bit closer, a bit more detail later of what I'm talking about there. The uh, inner, inner shell is fiberglass, it's a fiberglass mold, and it's also got the security of uh, spun woven fiberglass filament over the top of it. It's got, internally, it's got some fishtailed uh, laterals, which again, I'll show you a little bit later, but that's basically to have an, a nice even distribution of water during backwash to make it as efficient as possible so you don't get any dead spots. And it's also uh, basically another pro, as I've sort of touched on, is that it's really designed for energy efficient equipment. So if you've got a, a low flow pump on your system, then really this is gonna get the maximum out of that that you possibly can. Okay, I always like to look for some cons for a product. Um, trawling online, I haven't really found anyone complaining about anything for this filter. So um, I guess I could touch on a couple of things, not that they're really cons, but this filter itself is probably the most expensive on the market uh, for a residential standard backyard swimming pool. Now, I say that it's the most expensive, I don't mean that to be that it's a rip-off or anything like that. It's uh, well priced for the quality of the, of the product. If you want a filter that's going to last you a long time and perform well, then basically this is a great filter for you. It's not like it's a lot more expensive than uh, everything else in the market, but it probably is priced a little bit higher than the usual. It's um, slightly larger than the old S600, which it supersedes. So they still do make the S600 uh, media filter but this is an S602, so it's slightly larger. So if you're looking to put this in the exact same spot as your old 600 mil filter, no matter what brand, then this is generally gonna be just that little bit bigger. So you need to make sure that you have just a little bit more space than you had previously. That's probably it for the cons. Now, uh, let's have a look at, a bit of a closer look at the filter itself and what comes in the box. Okay, so obviously you're gonna get the filter uh, tank itself, it comes with a gasket to sit for sealing, nice thick rubber gasket. Internally, you're gonna get the laterals, which I'll show you a little bit closer later. And of course, the multi-port valve. You also get an oil-filled pressure gauge, which um, basically is gonna last you longer than, than most style pressure gauges. You've got two different types, an oil-filled and non-oil-filled. This one's a higher quality pressure gauge, and all of your nuts are in stainless steel just to clamp down onto the filter tank. Okay, so I just have here uh, an, another multi-port valve. I'll put them side by side, and you can see the difference in size. Now, these are for comparable size filters. So you can see the actual size difference between the two, and that just sort of highlights how much internal space there is for the water to flow through without restriction. You can also, if you look at the side here, you can see the thickness of the plastic here really good strong multi-port valve um, not that this one was ever a bad valve but you can see the difference in in thickness of the plastic uh, for example and obviously the the whole size difference there okay so here you can see uh, not only the 50 mil stem pipe again uh, a flow thing i keep on harping on about it but that's what these things are built for and also you can you can see the fish tailed laterals at the bottom these 
uh, designed to reduce any dead spots that you might get in the filter. So uh, they give a nice even distribution of, of water during the backwash and then that makes the filtration more efficient as well. Not the first company to have something like this, but they uh, certainly incorporated it for this filter to make sure that um, everything works as efficiently as it possibly can. Okay, so in summary, I have to say that this is a great filter. Uh, yes, it's a little bit more expensive than what else is on the market, but if you're looking to put something in that's gonna last you a long time without any hassle, this would be where you'd want to be going. Thanks for dropping by the buffer zone. Please feel free to drop through and check out any of our other reviews.